bit of a different video for you. Um, and I think I'm going to try and do a bit more of these. This is the first one, and I think it's pretty jam packed. So I'm just going to release it as it is. And all it is is me recording jobs around the boat whenever they come around. So I think this goes all the way back to beginning mid November, I think, um, in the basin in Langoflin. Uh, but yeah, I just forgot to do this, and I think I've got enough clips now to make it into a video. Um, and yeah, we're just doing like quite a few jobs around the boat, um, doing the uh, navigation lights. You know the, the diner table that you can take down. Um, one of those went where you put the pole into, and so we had to replace that. Uh, some couple of shelves I've done around the boat. And yeah, a couple of few more bits as well, so hope you all enjoy. <sighs> oh, sorry, dodgy bag. There it is. Come on, hurt, guys. I think you had it. Yeah, there's rusty screws out of them. Phillips screws, yeah, I've got to get them out. Three times as much, but the brass ones will last about ten times longer. I think. Perfectly balanced. Yes! Perfect. That's good. That one doesn't need replacing yet. At the moment, no. I think a lot of the problem is, if you look, you can't move it at the moment, but there's no... There's about... 5 mil of nothing underneath this. So the weight of this was just being pulled on this metal. And it's mm. called the fatigue, but I'm going to pack it, put some packing underneath before I put the new one in. Make sure it doesn't happen again. Use yours one screw if they come out. Today. See how that sits a little bit too below? Yeah. So there's nothing supporting it, it needs to be sat level like that. So <coughs> I have to find something to put on. It's nice and dry, look. Mm. That's the bottom of the boat. Look how dry that is. That's a really good sign. I was a bit worried when opening that up. Oh, no. See what the baby grows. Let us open this up. Here she is. Hi, Daddy. Hi, Daddy. As soon as we open this up, all the cats come running. We're using little bits of what do you call this? Goes in walls. Uh, I can't remember the name of it now. Lava plaster. I can't remember. In yeah, the old days, they call it wattle. It's from my wood. brother's house. Knocked down a few of his walls in his cottage. What not? Co not cottage house in Ilford. Yeah, it used to be called Wattle and Daub, but this is called. Oh, lava plaster or something, I can't remember. It was a long time ago, I got told when I was a lad what it was called. And that was a long time ago. Can't go into there, Fidge. But... Yeah, what's happening is this, there's no support under this. Mm, there's a really gap. A little bit of support. There's a gap like that, so all the weight's being pushed on the metal. So what we've done is... So I thought, isn't it. that weird? It was built to make Tony's house like a hundred years ago, and now it's ended up in this boat somehow. Look at that, Josh. Look at that. And now, now that piece of wood under there is supporting the weight of that table. I'm going to try that thicker bit first. I'm going to try this thicker bit first. And if not, we will go back to that thin bit. Actually, that thicker bit's better. Mm. Got a lot more support there now. That's brilliant. Yeah, I think that'll be alright, those new standing screws. The trouble is, if you put their old ones back, eventually that will rust so much you won't even better get them out. Yeah. 
These are a little bit longer than I wanted, but it's very thick flooring. That one in there. And that one in its new one. Bob's your uncle. Poor old Will. That's the one we crushed in Owlsmere Tunnel. Get rid of all this uh, silica in now. Yeah, it probably has to be painted now because they're a different size. Uh, yeah. yeah that be like a drug another time. Get it all off with a razor blade. These are from America, aren't they? Yeah. Perkins. Bought them second hand, well they've never been used but you can tell from the packaging they came and they're really old but they've never been used. They're not even LED. No, it's um a Fatoon light but we'll um just change those over to LED, I'll get a little pack. The good thing about this is these ones you can't change the LED, look. Yeah. That's got so many thousand hours. Once that LED's gone, you can't change it. These bulbs you can. They're really cheap anyway, those ones. Cheap and nasty. Yeah. <laughs> so now we've got to try and find a nut and bolt. It's going to hold lovely. A little bit sticking out, but you can't do anything about that. Otherwise, what you'd have to do is drill another hole further back. You'd mm. end up with three holes there then. That's the wires. We've got the casing on. Without dropping it. Put the casing on. All we've got to do then is connect up the cables. That looks better, doesn't it? And then we've just got to connect these cables up now. <laughs> it keeps quacking. Quacking? Okay. <laughs> 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 horrible noise. I'm getting sick of that over here. Getting sick of that over here in Squid Game. I don't do it much now. Not now. Is this going? Hmm? Yeah, don't worry about it. Just out of the navigation. Is this on? Yeah. There you go, see? Right. Yeah. yeah. Okay, turn it off. Navigation marks. Yeah. <laughs> so many wires here. Yeah, there is on this boat. So we'll do what we did before. I always always clamp the back first before I clamp onto the metal there because it just stops the wire coming back out when I've put it in. Good push. Right, and then what we do is put the new Navi on. Is that on, Josh? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's alright. Well, as you can see, here's the one I made quite a few months ago out of some ply and a couple of, well, just one pole, wooden pole, that I split in half. It's kind of a botch. Um, so I wanted to do a bit better with my uh, shoe rack. Yeah. This is a bit of pine board I got from a DIY shop in Langoflin. 
eight thirty nine, so it's pretty expensive for what it is. Um, but I wanted some proper wood this time because it, lo it just looks much better. Um, to all these, whatever you call them, knots in them, and it doesn't have all those horrible layers that you see with ply. Yeah, here you are. Look at that. Don't like that. It's gross. Looks, you know, man-made. But this, this is good. Got to take this this cellophane off, and then, uh, yeah, I'm gonna chop it right down the middle. Oh, I got the cellophane off, but look, a bit of a uh, wood's peeled off. Um, it's a bit rough, so I need to sand that down a bit. I think it's not smooth as I wanted it to be. Right, so you've got to measure it to find out the middle. So it's 25 centimetres. Okay, so half 25 is 12.5. <laughs> Please ignore that. Oh no, I've dropped my fucking ass! Uh, oh, bloody pen! So, 12.5. Can we see his nose? Please ignore that. Uh, so, yeah, 12 and a half. Oh, oh, that's on our thing. Jesus. Get it, move it! Get it, move it! What are you two doing? The bit of firelight that came out, Josh! Landed on the lino. Jesus Christ! So you didn't take the cap off again for the third time and a piece of fire. I thought it was still off from last night. I had it on last night. So it's still it's all smoking here again. I put it on because it was raining heavily. Almost started a fire. Worry about it. I hope she's all right. Panic over. Just trying to do a little DIY video. This is why I don't add audio when we're going oh along. Oh God's sake! Don't worry about it. Yeah, because I thought I had the fire on last night, so I assumed that the thing was still on there. We're off. Yeah. Assumed it was still off, Josh. Right, so let's try and do that again. Twelve and a half. Normal kindling, you can. Right now, let's try and half this. In the winter, there's always another use for a jackery solar panel, and that's simply for a big ruler. Um, <laughs> as you can see, um, I hope jackery aren't watching this, but yeah, I couldn't find anything that was long enough to do use for a ruler. So, bit for a little bit more. I think that should do it. Right. Didn't even uh, didn't even mark most of that. Thank you, Jackery. Who would have known? Should have put that in the review. Perfectly halved, as all things should be. Cold, is it? We gonna? Is that the best way to do it? What? In there, it's a bit shaky. That's right. So we're going to put it onto the wood first, 
it's gonna be, it's gonna be easy that way. See how soft it is? You can just push your yeah. screw in. It's easier. That's two lock, locking ones in. So now we're going to attach this to the wall. We need enough room for a shoe to. I think that'll be enough for a boot. The boots are quite tall, they've got to my ankles. Uh, okay, so I think that would be a good addition for the first one. Um, I could never be a carpenter. And I'm going to sort of centralise it with a window. That's, a, yeah, that's about central. Oh, War of the Worlds! <laughs> oh, for God's sake! <laughs> Stop it, it's not funny. Go. One side in. Oh. Oh, these. Put two of these in, that'll be your strength. Yeah, you got and you got two lights in this mum mum room like mum's got in her cabin. Mm. Could have done they could have put another one in the middle really, couldn't they? Nice of wood than mum's, isn't it? Yeah. When we varnish it, we'll put some varnish on it tomorrow, yeah? Is it solid enough? Feel good? Shelf number one is in. Feels better than mum's, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> solid. Yeah. Just hope mum don't walk into, or anyone walks into one of them corners. We could always take them out tomorrow, the, yeah. the corners with the jigsaw, and then... Yeah, we're going to varnish it in the morning, because yeah. if you do it late at night... This one the here. Fumes, you'll be breathing it in all night, so we're doing it in the morning when I get up. And then I can put more shoes underneath as well. We're going to varnish it, leave it a day, sand it back, right. and give it another get day. Get that. What are you doing up there? So, that's the two shelves in now. Not going to put any shoes on yet, because I need to varnish it first. Before we start getting dirt on it. We have to get the dirt off. We can do that tomorrow morning. Might curve these edges as well because they're sharp. Don't want to hit them. So yeah, that's me a shoe rack. Um, it's been a very long time since I filmed for this video. And the last time I filmed for this video was the night of Storm Arwen. Is it Arwen? Um, so yeah, we're doing some more work around the boat now, things have quietened down. This is another bit of wood we got, which is the one we did for the shoe rack. Um, but we're going to use it for mum's shoe rack in there, we're going to replace that one that I made. So it isn't very good. Um, but, whenever I want to play Xbox, Dad's got to go to sleep. <coughs> and the TV and the Xbox is in there, so I've got to play Xbox in there with him trying to sleep for work. And it's sort of clashing of it, so... Dad... Um, found this TV next to the bin. It's Murphy uh, 19 inch 1080p TV. Um, if it's yours, any of yours, thank you. Um, because all Dad had to do was change the fuse, the fuse had broken it, that's all. It works fine. So, got me Xbox here. Um, this will save a lot of power as well because obviously it's a lot smaller TV. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm going to make two shelves out of this bit of wood and place them in my room. My room is just full of shelves now. But let's see, I'm going to put it here. Um, and I've used a plate to curve it because if we didn't, uh, we would hit our shoulders. That's, that's more level. You just sort of guesstimate on the boat with the levelness. Because <laughs> you can't use a lever on a boat really. 
but yeah I've curved it in with a plate here as you can see this line I don't know if you can see but still um, so it won't hit the shoulder if you, it won't. Is that you probably would um, but you're just gonna have to go sideways through here now that's the thing which isn't too much of a problem really there is nowhere else to put it in the room really we were going to get a bracket and pull it out um, but we have to order one and we need this done as soon as possible really because um, dad's working like three shifts in a row and it's nice to get this done as soon as possible what I'm going to do with the wires is I'm going to drill some holes through the cupboard here I'm going to put a second shelf down here for the Xbox and I'm going to draw the wires through here and they're going to go up through the closet. So yeah. So, a slight problem we have is there's no ports in the closet of glass. Um, all the ports are over this side. And when we built this desk, for some reason I thought this would be enough room <laughs> because I didn't even think of the bloody... The claws, or whatever you call them, that stick out. You can't get, you can't get it under there. Yes, I left enough room if they were flat to come out, but they're not. So they're stuck in there. Um, I'm thinking maybe this wire is long enough for this extension lead. All I need is two plugs. If this wire is long enough. I can run it under there, under the desk, and down onto the floor, and underneath that. I don't know what you call those metal bit and then into the closet and then screw it on and then uh, there'll be power to the closet so I'm going to try and do that now Maybe. so there's the wire underneath here tuck a lot of things underneath here well they were stuck but they're not so just got to unscrew this and then screw it back so it'll go on uh, bind it slightly. That one meant to happen. Okay, it's behind there now. Sorry about all the noise, it's really dark in here. Oh, I can't see it too small. I can't see. So I've got my precision set here. All different heads. Um, and then I've got a little flat head in here. Just because I think flat heads tend to work a bit better. Fun enough with these small screws. Let's try it. There you go. See? Beautiful rippers. Oh, maybe not. So, two of the nails are bold, so I can't screw them up. No thread left. Um, so what I've done is I pried it open with a hammer. I should be able to just squeeze it under there. Yeah, so almost there. So 
the extension lead is in there now, in the cupboard. You can see that's not really a problem. I can tuck that under there. Where's that? You can see it only sticks out there. There's a bit of a lump on this, but the door can still close. Oh. I have to, I need to get it to stick to something down there. So yeah, it's plugged in there, so yeah, pretty successful. Right, so, I'm trying to figure out where the holes are going to be. Um, the way the wires go. The Xbox wire, um, it's the hard drive, but it's not the Xbox wire. It's about that wide, so I don't have to take the plug off or make a massive hole for the plug. All I have to do is drill a little hole about that big um, for the hole to go through. So that looks about straight to me. This is the Xbox shelf. There's two shelves. The TV shelf's going to be right up there. The Xbox one's going to be here. Uh, below the gunnels, so it's out the way a bit. Um, so I want the hole to be in that corner as far as I can get. So there. That's really where I want the hole to be. And then um, I also need a hole for the HDMI. So I need it to be quite big really. Because the HDMI cable needs to get through there as well. So quite a big hole I've got to drill. But that's going to be about where it's going to be I think. I'm trying to think of everything because I'll yeah, probably mess up so it'll probably be an afterthought. Um, but that looks about right to me. Plenty of room for the extinguisher. Yeah. It's good to me. This is the biggest drill bit I have. Where's it do? Right. I've got to try and drill the hole. Is there anything on the other side? Get in the way. Nope. Oh, <laughs> and the battery ran out. <laughs> Reloading. So, as you can see, drew quite a big hole, it takes a while though. I need to get a bit wider really. It's long enough, but it just needs to be a bit wider. And there we go, got it through in the end. Whew, took a lot of work <laughs> for a little hole like that. Right, look at this for a genius idea. So, as you see, I've cut a bit off of this HDMI with a Stanley knife. Um, in order to make it smaller, so I have to drill the hole bigger. Because I need to fit the Xbox wire in there, and the Xbox wire wouldn't come back out because it had. Where is it? Because it had two, it had two little stubs on top, and they flicked back out once it came out, and you couldn't put it out. So I chopped them off with a Stanley knife. I was thinking, how can I get rid of these? So I was trying sandpaper and then I thought, Stanley knife. So that's exactly what I'm using for the HDMI cable. Alright, and there we go. Did it. Both the Xbox wire and the HDMI are through. HDMI. We've cut the wood now. Uh, didn't oh no, he's it. I forgot to record it. Um, oh, curved a little bit. It's dad cutting, not me. Okay. So there's the two shelves. Nice Just need to put the bracket on. Come on, focus, you son of a bitch. There we go. Both the shelves are up. Nicely. As you can see, that one comes in a bit. Xbox One comes in a bit because it goes under the gunnel. So it leaves you a bit more room at the bottom. 
So, the last thing we have to do now is just change the plug so it can go through to the cupboard without making a massive hole. Do a plug. Hmm? Why is everyone watching me do a plug? Chill. There's the TV and oh, it's lagging the internet, isn't very good. But it's, it's 1080p the TV, funny enough. 19 inch TV, 1080p. I wouldn't, I don't know how I believe that, but it is actually 1080p. And then your mum's is only 720, isn't it? Yeah. Got my video, well, the latest video on. Look at that. Oh. You're finally moving again, mate. It's a bit stretched though. For some reason, so there is Will. Oh, that's a nice picture, isn't it? Let me see. So I, I love, guys, I love something for nothing. <laughs> and did you tell um, them about? Yeah, Dad I was about the to. Batteries? Again, mate. Oh, Dad man. had the ba He thought the controller was broken, <laughs> but the batteries were just the wrong way round. He didn't have his glasses on, guys. He put on. the batteries down the round the wrong way. So the TV, the oh, controller works great. as well. Nice yeah. picture, isn't it? Speakers work. Everything yeah. works. Lovely telly that is. We haven't even watched this one yet either, Josh, have we? Look at that! Nice picture, isn't it? Yeah. I did it! You go right about oh. under here, the speakers. Length of the telly. Yeah. And it's bassy <laughs> as well. Who we got the bloody bikes on? Will pick Will up? Yeah. Well, there goes the antenna. Oh. What's happened? It's 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 there. Now. there goes the antenna. Oh yeah! yeah. Alright, um, hope you all enjoyed that. There'll be a few more of those to come um, in the near future because there's going to be quite a few jobs to do in the spring and um, they're too short to make into their own videos so I'll just put them all together and it's just jobs around the boat so hope you all enjoyed that. Please like and subscribe and don't forget to check out all our social medias and um, maybe check us out on PayPal. You can give a one time small donation to us or maybe even um patron where you can uh, become a patron and uh, get exclusive asset access to um some vlogs and early access to the vlogs as well all right see ya